trends aren't limited to fashion, beauty, home decor. The cake world is known to cycle through fads too. In fact, you could say we've experienced a cake evolution over the years. Take a walk with me, take a walk with me. First we had shaped cakes, shaped around an object I should say. Pretty sure this is the cake that stole the show at my seventh birthday party. Then we swung to the standard round. Went back to the classic, I think of Pollyanna serving up the slices at the Holiday Bazaar. After that though, we went high to the heavens. We started stacking. So two, three tiers high, and then from there we got naked. As in a light schmear of frosting, known as the crumb coat with exposed center and often fresh flowers at the base to finish it off. But forget everything you thought you knew about cake trends because the latest look comes straight from the archives it is generously frosted, full of darling frilly details. Bethany Tomseth is here to introduce us to the vintage heart cake trend that is stealing everybody's heart right now. Great to see you. Good to see you. You say this is the biggest cake trend of the moment, hands down. I am seeing it all over my Instagram feed. It's just that vintage feel, but modernized. Super, super feminine and just so much fun. It kind of nods to, I mean, what, Bow apocalypse that we've been seeing where everything's dripping with bows and the yes. frilly and the extra. Yes. Anytime we can be extra and feel on trend about it, we'll take it. We'll take that more card. More is more. So these yeah. are baked up today, but how did you shape the cake? There's a there's about three ways you can shape it. So I have a cake pan, okay. which just makes it so easy for me. Yeah. And then another way, you can just get a round cake and you can make a template out of paper mm -hmm. and just put it right on the cake and trace it with your knife, right? Okay. This is a really fun way to do it. It's so easy. You just chop it off. Do you want it frozen if you're knife shaping? Um, not, but you want it cold, not cold. necessarily frozen. Okay. And then you chop this off. Uh huh. And then you take those and look at that. What just happened? You just make. Are you kidding a little me? Heart. And then you can kind of shape these and frosting. You know, you put frosting here and then you stick them on and it's a heart. It's a Tetris game that you absolutely won. Okay, so three <laughs> ways to shape. Then comes the fun. Yes, this is so much fun. I feel like, speaking of trends, the trend girl's girl is going around right now, right? Uh -huh. And this is like the girl's girl of cake. Yeah. It's so fun, it's so celebratory, it's so like encouraging, there's so many fun like sayings going on. And it's just, you just get a piping bag, right? And they have these fun like frill tips now, like oh. six bucks on Amazon. Oh. And then all you do is squeeze your hand. Look at that, and that is so satisfying you just turn your turntable, I know, and it ruffles up on itself, and those ruffles, they just give you life, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see that there's a space between the cake and the ruffle. I'm gonna go real fast. And then like the faster you can go, the bigger the ruffles get and I love it. Is that space purposeful? Well, Not okay, to call you out. so no. If, if you want like a really tight ruffle, you just go slow, slow, slow. slow. Okay. Um, if you want kind of a messier ruffle, you just kind of go fast. Okay. Um, so there's a space between the cake and the ruffle there. You're gonna take another piping bag. I love the French tip for this. You let it build up. It's like a shell border, but with a French tip. Build up on itself. So we're layering different tip layer, designs. Layer, oh my layer. goodness. More is more, I tell you what. Okay, uh -huh. and I like the bigger ruffle for the bottom, but for the top one, I really love this. It's just a um, a rose tip. That's all it is. Okay, you can find it at any craft store. You can find it at Walmart. Yeah, and then it's just more of a delicate, smaller ruffle, okay. and it's the same thing. This one, you kind of want to move your piping bag up and down a little bit. I could watch you do this I, all day. It's just so therapeutic, right? It really and is. And anybody soothing. can do this. Go get some piping tips from the store, or order them from Amazon, and then just have fun in your kitchen. Just try Try, try, practice, 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 and you're gonna become a pro. And really, it's kind of hard to mess up. I mean, the, pi well, the piping tip does Says the professional. All, <laughs> the piping tip does all the work, How right? to do the swag or like the bunting okay. on the side? That's a really good question. This, and I should have done this before I did the ruffle, but look at this, you've got a circle cutter, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. And I just kind of go in the middle, and then I will mark my cake with the circle, and then kind of get at the same level. Oh, so it's your guideline. It's, this is my guideline, yeah. Okay, I went a little okay. lower on that one, but just be careful what you're doing. And then this, again, this is a rose tip, but just a smaller one. Mm -hmm. And then I have my, my small end down, mm -hmm. and you're just gonna, again, ruffle up and down. That's all you do. The squeeze, vintage ruffle squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. heart And it just cake. does not get cuter. And you can do so many layers, or you can keep it more simple. Okay. Either way, it looks amazing. What are people quickly topping it with? <laughs> oh because my. girls, girl, more is more. Okay, this is the funnest part. This is like the girls, girl part of it. It's like they're putting like, Gemini baby, they're putting, um, you've got this on it. They're oh, so putting phrases. Phrases, and it's so fun. They're, uh -huh. they're, it's like, you're my bae. Like, it's just the cutest <laughs> birthday bae. And then the decorations 
are okay. blinged glitter, and iridescent. Glitter cherries. You get edible glitter from the store, edible glitter, and then you just take <gasps> your little marshino cherries. Stop it. And, oh, it's not coming out. But Stop it. you get the idea there. The butterflies, oh my the gosh. lavender. Edible butterflies, wafer paper, Amazon. You've got you know, cute little charms, tons of sprinkles. Oh, you can throw so many sprinkles on this <laughs> and it'd be darling. And then for the sayings, yeah. you can do like cutouts. Okay. There's different cutters you can use for fondant. And then if these are um, chocolate. So you just melt some chocolate, put it in a piping bag, and fill your silicone oh, the mold detail there. On those is pretty Pop it out, good. and it's so easy. Everybody Stephanie, can do it at home. I promise you. Are you. the best. Thank you for bringing this trend, this TikTok trend, to our yeah. kitchen counter. Where can we get more cake inspiration from you, sister? My Instagram, Bethany Cakes, and then I'll be doing some classes in September. Oh, fantastic! So details so there excited. on your website. Yes. Bethany Cakes will link you over. Sign up for a class this fall. How fun to settle in this fall with a new hobby, and I'm sure vintage cakes will be part of the class conversation. Yep. Absolutely. How could they not? Thank you. We adore you. <laughs>